Middle school teachers of Reddit, what is the most awkward slash cringy thing you've seen a student do? I used to teach middle school before graduating to teach high school. While I was in middle school I had one awkward student in my last period that took a liking to me. He would stay after school every day just to hang out with me. He was always asking how he could help out after class, like cleaning the whiteboard, putting chairs up, that sort of thing. We would usually talk while he did this. One day he surprised me by saying I bet you'd be a really good dad. I think it would be awesome if you were my dad. Think of all the things we could do. I kind of laughed if off, because middle schoolers say a lot of weird thing. A couple of weeks go by. Same thing. He's staying after school to hang out with me when he says you know you have a conference with my mom tomorrow yeah. Of course. She's really cute. You like her. Uh, what? Maybe you guys can go out on a date. Needless to say, that was an awkward conference. Recently I've been finding condom wrappers in the desks of my 6th graders. Apparently the boys have been using them to masturbate in the bathrooms. The most cringy part about it was a girl student pointed to the desk and said, you might want to check this out, but I don't even know what them lil boys be doing with those, it's not like they can use them yet. Especially as a first year teacher this has been one of the most awkward days of my job. I had a 7th grade girl raise her hand and ask me to come to her desk. When I leaned over she asked quietly if she could go to the bathroom and gestured at her lap and muttered something I didn't hear. Assuming that she started her period, fortunately in dark black pants, I let her leave of course. When she comes back, she stands next to her chair for the rest of the lecture and leaves quietly at the bell. Next class comes in, and, while I'm straightening up and standing in the hallway, the student who was assigned the same seat as that girl grabs some paper towels and starts cleaning up. There is a huge puddle in the chair and on the floor. It suddenly occurs to me, the dense teacher, that this poor girl had peed her pants, in 7th grade. I told the boy that someone spilled their tea slash water and tried to get him to stop cleaning it up, but he was like, nope. Already done. He had just mopped up some girl's pee. I told him to wash his hands in case the tea was sticky and let it go. I asked the girl the next day if everything was okay. She was so amazed that nobody even noticed. Thank goodness for unobservant teachers and students that day. But watching that boy clean up pee has haunted me. He was almost done when I realized what was going on, but still. This school year one of my students bet another student something like $20 to lick his ball sack. The boy agreed, and decided that after a sweaty day in gym class in the locker room would be the best time to do it, which he did. They also had a third boy there to film it on their phone, of course, so now they are all suspended pending potential charges for making and distributing child pornography. As a result our district attorney came and gave an assembly presentation of laws pertaining to sexting and underage sex to all of our kids. I think half of them started shitting bricks when they were told that the DA could potentially gain access to their past snapchats. There was a student, kinda flamboyant, nice kid and super social. Too social for a lot of middle schoolers. He wrote an erotic story that included himself and three other students. It was found when he dropped a page of it in English class and one of the students saw their name and started reading it. It was very, very detailed. That worst part was that each of the students who were written about and their parents were informed and shown the story. And somehow it got out. The English teacher at the time said it was a good read and had no grammatical errors. A 6th grade boy called another boy gay. That boy responded by saying I'm not gay, if I was gay I'd be touching your balls right now. How to leave your opponent speechless in an argument. He probably spent years waiting for that moment. The best I could think of back in primary when confronted by that question was what, are you interested? Edit, grammar. I watched one of my students break apart an eraser, you know the big pink kind and then proceed to put all the pieces in her mouth and fire them out like a gun at the boy sitting next to her. When I asked her why, she told me it was because she wanted to be his friend. Kids. I think she misunderstood the advice about using a rubber with your crush. I'm also not above befriending this person. The most common cringe-inducing activity is the Naruto run. Every year there are still 4 to 5 boys that exclusively travel through the halls with their arms raised behind them. Second place is when kids say a joke and no one hears them or they don't pick up the social cue that no one thought it was funny so they say it like 10 more times. Hey, that's a spicy meatball. No response, hey, that's a spicy meatball. Hey, that's a spicy meatball. Hey, that's a spicy meatball. Hey, that's a spicy meatball.
Meanwhile I'm going insane at my desk with my teacher ears that hear everything. Someone for the love of God please answer him. This isn't one instance, it's just daily. My students draw dicks on everything. It's almost like in the movie Super Bad. I legit have a collection of cock drawings ranging from stick figures to scientific journal quality. I was out for personal reasons for three days. When I came back the kids had drawn cocks on the back of all our computers with sharpies. It's like they are obsessed. And before you ask I save the pictures for evidence in case I need to use them in a parent-teacher meeting. That and they make me laugh really hard. One girl made a fake boyfriend using some Arabic movie star as the profile pic. When her friends found out it was one epic cat fight in the yard. She went through all the effort of creating fake Facebook convos of her talking to herself. She actually logged into two separate accounts at the same time to create convincing conversation to show her friends. Why would they fight over that? My wife works as a 7th grade LA teacher. There is a kid in her school that everyone is afraid of, including teachers. He has very morbid thoughts and has no issues sharing them with everyone. When classmates share how their weekend went he discusses how he loves killing people in his video games and how good he is at doing it, etc. A few weeks ago on a Monday, said student returns my wife a loaner pen that was given out. Thank you she says, to which he replies no thank you. I've slept with it under my pillow all weekend because it smells like you. He has since been assigned a new LI teacher that is actually across the hall and since then he had to get his desk moved in that classroom because he would be caught staring into my wife's classroom for the entire class. Bonus fact, they had parent-teacher conferences and his single parent father is equally as sketched out by his own son. I used to teach 7th grade science in a school with fairly low level students, so reading skills weren't particularly sharp. As we're about to get into the differences between living and non-living things, it was time to cover some new terminology, so I had a student read a paragraph from the textbook aloud to the class. It went something like this, there are all kinds of orgasms in the world, big orgasms, small orgasms, even microscopic orgasms. Some orgasms have fur, some orgasms have scales, and even you are an orgasm. Not a single student knew any different, or at least didn't make a big deal out of it, but I was about to die with laughter. I went into the hallway to compose myself, then read the second paragraph myself, an organism is a living thing, which can be defined as. My wife is a fourth grade teacher and she tells me stories all the time but this one almost made me throw up. She was teaching and started to smell shit and thought alright someone is just farting, no biggie. After a few minutes the kids all started making faces cause they smelled it too. Finally one kid caught my wife's attention and had shit in his hands while sitting at his desk. Turned out he obviously farted and shit his pants but decided to stick his hand in his pants because he didn't believe what happened and didn't know what to do with it cause he was clearly embarrassed. My wife had to call the custodian to clean up the area. Let me tell you the shit these custodians do on a daily basis is incredible. They the real heroes. A, Jewish, friend of mine with no Reddit account. I was teaching, and it wasn't even about the Holocaust. I actually don't remember what it was about. The kid raised his hand and asked randomly, you're Jewish right? And I said, yes, why? And then he said, oh wow, I bet you're glad that Hitler is dead. Aren't we all? Not me, but my mom is a middle school choir teacher, and one day I was visiting her class to see her kids sing and bring her a coffee. After I give my mom her coffee, I go and sit down in an empty chair in the middle of all her kids just to listen to them sing and do warm-ups. The girl on my right and I say hello to each other, and I glance over to the left to see the girl sitting on the other side of me staring me down. Before I could say anything, she blinks and says, I have lung problems and then turns to face the front of the classroom again. That is, to this day, one of the strangest things that has ever happened to me. Taught as an assistant. During an English verbal exam, students must ask the proctor a question. One boy asked if I liked him. In Japanese, it could be both do you consider me a worthwhile human being and would you bang sort of like. Erring on the side of caution, so as not to call a potentially depressed student worthless, I went with yes. He fixed the problem right away by asking me why, and I promptly told him because I didn't hate him. He got the point. Edit, the test was in English. Students have to ask me a question in English, but the word like translates with all of the same various connotations we have in English, and was explained to students in the same way. It was also a special, non-standard public school, 
for students who couldn't fit in with the rigidity of standard Japanese schools. I wasn't read into specific backgrounds for individual students, but I was just told that many students were mentally weak, and should always be given positivity, yes, but rather than no, but. When I was a teacher, a Japanese student asking if my white boyfriend had big penis? When I was a student, girl who would make up ridiculous stories for attention. She claimed that someone tried to shoot her once and a bird flew in front and took the bullet for her. Weird stuff like that. Watch her have lived some amazing life full of divine intervention only for no one to believe her stories, kills herself. We had a new teacher in middle school, and I won't lie, he was fiveen. He was young and very handsome, and the girls were all hitting puberty at that time. One girl took it to an extreme though. She would scream at him will you marry me Mr. Clark you're so ducking sexy you're so hot Mr. Clark kiss me it was so incredibly awkward, I felt so badly for him. Come to think of it actually that girl ended up transferring schools so there must have been some serious talk going on with her parents about it. That poor teacher must have been terrified lol. Edit, okay you guys I guess Mr. Clark is a pretty common teacher name, you can stop asking me if I went to your school lol. Student would sit in the back and mutter Kamamea sometimes for 20 minutes. He also insisted on being called Goku. We labeled his behavior chart to start at Baby Goku and advanced to Super Saiyan level 4. He never made it past Teenage Goku. I mean by the time he'd already defeated the Red Ribbon Army and saves the world from King Piccolo that's quite a lot for a middle schooler to accomplish in a year emo. But he still gets wrecked by Raditz, so it's kind of a trade-off. Well there was that time that a 7th grade boy decided to put his open mouth on my office window and swirl his tongue around, Minix style. Best thing you can do is not react. Just sigh deeply, walk up, and calmly ask if they're done yet. I was teaching 7th grade math. My kids had all done really well on a recent test and I asked them for suggestions for a class reward. Kids starting shouting out ideas. Chips. Pizza. Candy. Out of the back of the room. A kid who normally is pretty quiet yells out, let's get boners. The class loses it. They all start laughing while the kid who yelled is repeating I meant donuts. I meant to say donuts. It took a good 10 minutes to get control of the room back. Kid was pretty embarrassed but I did my duty and managed not to laugh. Stop taking reward suggestions after that. Edit, deleted and errant oh. Mea culpa. Worked at an all girls middle school in Korea for 3 years saw a girl proceed to walk out the bathroom with her used feminine pad and proceed to slap the girl that was bullying her. Not just once but multiple times. It was pretty messy. Did she stop getting bullied? I mean I imagine that would do it. Not really sure. I was transferred to another school the next year and this was at the end of the year. Witnessed a hilariously cringy moment last Friday while supervising an 8th grade lunch. I watched as a student, let's call her Mia arrived to the table she normally sits at and set her tray down. In that moment there was a discussion that another boy had already taken that spot and he had just run up to grab something. Instantly tears fill her eyes and she snatches her tray to head across the lunchroom to a different table. Mia gets about 5 steps away when a boy, Chad, from the table goes Mia. Wait. My heart filled as I imagined some act of kindness, some reminder that 8th graders are actual human. Mia turns with a Medusa-like glare and shouts what? Chad points to her tray and asks, are you going to drink your milk? Ducking Chads. I only listen to old school hip hop. My favorite group is NWA. I bet you've never even heard of them. This was said to me. I had to stop myself from laughing in this kid's face. Source, am I an actual teacher? Someone had done this to me about Nirvana. Kid, when I was your age, Kurt Cobain was at the height of his fame. During Black History Month, we were assigned to create a PowerPoint document on an historical black person. Then, we all had to present them on a projector to the class. Around halfway through the presentations is a kid named Travis who was assigned Malcolm X. He loads up his presentation on the projector, and the title page features a chimpanzee. Odd, but maybe there is something to it. Nope. Straight-faced, he delivered every page of his entire presentation replete with photos of baboons, monkeys, bananas, and culminating in a photo of a gorilla and a large animated gun pointed at its head going bang like in cartoons. This, of course, being the assassination of X. I watched this teacher the entire time. She turned redder and redder as he went on. Finally, at the slide with the gun and gorilla, she exploded on him. 
I don't remember exactly what she said, but this usually demure teacher went into a rage yanking him into the hall and presumably to the office. If you're wondering, yes there was a black student, and no it was not Travis. It's been so long that I don't recall her reaction, but it must have been awful. I can't for the life of me understand why the teacher let him go on for so long. There was this kid that nobody really talked to. He was talkative, but every time he tried to start a conversation, it seemed like he was just white noise to other students. Usually I would be sympathetic, but he was a little too weird. He was massive for a middle schooler and was already growing lots of stubble that he refused to shave, and every day he would walk into class, turn on Russian polka at full volume, and do an Eastern European dance. Every day, without fail. Not only this, but he exclusively spoke in a Russian accent, and everyone knew he was not Russian whatsoever. He also wore a massive fur hat every day, even when it was not cold. He's gone now but I wonder what's going to happen to him in high school. Rasputin's Reincarnation A sub, who was a pretty younger woman, said that when she was walking up and down the rows checking on student work, she noticed a boy was playing with himself. The principal met with the mother and the actual teacher of the class to discuss it. The mother insisted that her son could not have possibly been doing that because his penis was far too small to be able to be seen. That moment when a parent-teacher conference turns into a roast. Thanks for listening to another episode of Redditex. Subscribe and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any stories. Feel free to share your own stories below in the comments. Have a good day.